I hate Twitter. However, one of the best part of my days is opening up Twitter and finding some of the really cool, funny, and useful app designs that a lot of the talented people on there show for other people to see. So that's exactly what we're looking at today. So let's do this. All right, so first up we have DoorDash Bite Request. Bite Request received, can your Dasher have a few fries? I think it would be cool to implement because it's funny, but I don't know if anybody would actually give their Dasher fries. I know I wouldn't, because I'm probably waiting 40 minutes at this point to get my food, so why would I reward you for that? Maybe if you're like under 20 minutes, I could reward you with a fry, but don't you want a tip instead? That's pretty cool though. Find my friends, see how many times they check your location. Heads up, Joanne checked your location 133 times in the last 24 hours. Anybody going through a breakup is going to get absolutely exposed. I had a friend, he got broken up by his girlfriend, and he was tracking her probably like every 10 minutes on Find My Friends. Not in a weird way. Okay, maybe in a weird way, but you get the point. 133 views is wild. Like, you should not be checking up on somebody like that, even if it's your baby. iMessage shows the number of times they've read a message. I really enjoyed hanging out. Want to get coffee this week? Read 27 times. Come on, Kaylee. 27 times and you can't muster out a response? It's clear that you enjoyed the date. You said last night was super fun. Then I guess you said it's very interesting. Interesting is never a positive word, by the way. If somebody says you're interesting, it's usually not good. I would know. Spotify prioritize artist's legal name. Ben Haggerty goes by Macklemore. So it'd be like Aubrey Graham or Rihanna Fenty. Yeah, I don't really mind this too much. I mean, the true artists will prevail. They don't even need their brand behind it. So pretty cool. Uber Eats total calories and global rank. Total calories, 2.3 mil, global rank, 1,500. That is something I would not want to see because chances are I'd be in the top 100 and I feel really bad about myself. But it's kind of good also to track. Maybe if you're like a big macro head and you really like to know what's going into your body, it'd be cool to have kind of like a breakdown. Yeah, imagine every restaurant uploaded the macros for each of their food items, and then you could calculate, assuming you ate the entire thing, what over the year you've eaten. So it's like a MyFitnessPal app. Okay. Instagram warning if you're sharing content someone's already seen. So it says 17 people already sent Carl this video. That would be some next level data breach. However, it would be extremely useful. I can't even tell you the amount of times that somebody sends me videos and I've seen them like a week, two weeks prior. And there's this one person in particular who always sends me memes and I saw them on Twitter like two days ago. So I should be able to let them know without telling them that I've already seen this. So I like this feature. Google Meet live presentation feedback. Your presentation is a bit dull. 89% of the meeting participants are not paying attention and using another app. To be fair, they're probably using other apps even if you have the most riveting presentation because nobody actually pays attention on these Zoom calls or Google Meet in this instance. Ticketmaster tall people protection upsell. Get tall people protection. This makes sure no one taller can sit in front of you and block your view during this Andrea Bocelli concert. Add for 150. First of all, Andrea Bocelli, one of the greatest Italian opera singers of all time, $640 per ticket. I mean, I guess it's resale, so that's fine. Also, look at those service fees. I mean, forget the tall people protection. I'm kind of like in awe of these Ticketmaster prices. I would probably get tall people protection if it was like $75. Because the worst thing is if you have to see something, if you're at like a football game, and then there's these like six, five giants, which is my height to be fair, in front of you that are blocking your view. I don't love that. Screen your phone calls with AI. So spam likely, and you can then choose the tone. Friendly, professional, hostile, something else. I would always do hostile. There's actually a feature already on iPhones where you could block unknown callers. So if you don't have their contact saved to you, then they can't reach you. In which case, sometimes like the Uber Eats driver will be like, what the heck, why can I get through? Who does this guy think he is? But I'm actually protecting against scammers and you. iMessage option to leave a conversation with one person. Chill, man, I'll pay next week. You good to pay by Friday? Dude, I need you to pay for last month's rent. Kyle left the conversation. So why did Kyle leave the conversation if Jared is the one who hasn't paid? I would feel like Jared's the one who wants to slide out, but let's assume that's supposed to be Jared. I think that's pretty powerful. It's a powerful message. Instead of just leaving this person on red, you're like, hey, I acknowledge everything that's happening here, and then I'm choosing to just remove myself. I don't want the stress in my life. Okay. Yelp reviewer shows average tip. 
Okay, so their average tip 7.23%. So maybe it's like you don't take stock in those people's reviews if they're not like good customers or patrons. But it's a little bit weird because some people only use these review-based apps if they have negative experiences. And so their average tip is gonna skew lower because they're only inputting like two or three out of five stars. Nonetheless, pretty cool design. Slack company tenure rank. So if you work at Slack, which is a business-oriented app, it's kind of like a social ranking. So hey, he's been here for two years and seven months, more than most employees. That's cool. So it's like Sam Booch has been on YouTube for three years. Here's where he ranks in the ecosystem. And maybe you guys would respect me a bit. Uber Eats, meet your meat. Okay, this is some vegan propaganda. There's Janice. She was raised on a farm in Mobile, Alabama and slaughtered about two weeks ago. Janice ate primarily alfalfa, but loved apples as a treat. You know what? I think that's good because we really should be grateful for every animal meat that we consume. I mean, just on like a very... So I think it's a cool idea, but I don't think that's going to like really, for the average person, resonate with them. So maybe not. LinkedIn nepotism disclosure. Kyle Swenson, VP of marketing at Burger King. And then you have the warning. Kyle's dad, George, was the chief marketing officer at Burger King. All right, Kyle, you're not fooling anybody, right? You're trying to show off like you have this big title. Meanwhile, George, your dad, is the reason you got that job. Or so I'm assuming. I like that. Google Maps fast food temptation. Someone feeling hungry? There's a Taco Bell only three minutes away and you could redirect. I'll tell you right now, and you could put this on record, within one of the next three updates of Google Maps, they will have a redirect option that you could enable if you're on like a road trip or something. Apple Mail extremely specific sent from indicator. Though it says, Heather, she signs off, sent from my iPhone at the Bozeman Montana Chili's handicapped restroom stall. That is a premier stall. First of all, Chili's is the greatest restaurant of all time. And then the handicap stalls there. I mean, I don't want to say I use them, but nobody's in there. I use them. All right, so we have an iOS posture check. We've locked TikTok for your well-being. Please stand up straight to regain access. Posture checks are always great because even right now, and I know this is super meta, but I'm recording a video of me reacting to something on Twitter and it had the same effect. So it's not iOS, but I'm still more upright now as a result of reading that. So I love posture checks. I think every hour the phone should just like ping posture check. Definitely. DoorDash divorce paper server. You've been served. Seth will arrive with your divorce papers in about five minutes. It was DoorDash, but for your wife going out the door. I think there's a lot of application, right? Don't 52% of marriages end in divorce? It'd be a booming market. I think Soren Iverson's onto something. Netflix, are you still watching Better Help Upsell? So are you still watching Love Island? Continue watching or talk with a Better Help licensed therapist. My girlfriend is going to hate the fact that I left this in the video because her favorite show is Love Island. I'm sorry. All right, so we have a lift layover option. Lift layover, wait and save. Two hour layover at Chili's in Akron, Ohio. That's actually a pretty good idea. I don't know the value of like a layover for a car because it's so high volume, but I would certainly love, like I said, to stay at a Chili's because Chili's is the greatest restaurant in the world. Get the chicken crispers. You get the nachos, which are each individually plated with the cheese and the chicken on top. They have the cookie skillet at the end. It's really an amazing place. And they used to have a two for 20, which unfortunately is no longer the deal. But Chili's, if anybody watching this is like a big Chili supporter or has a connection at Chili's, please reach out to me. This is the only time that I will shill for you without getting compensated for it. But I'd love to work with you. Please, Chili's. Please. We have the passive aggressive steps app. Hmm, you haven't been very active lately. It's starting to show. I think this could be good for people because it's like, oh my gosh, even the robot is telling me that I have to go outside and be active. Maybe it's time to go outside and be active. I message literally watch them type. <laughs> My entire thing would be, because I always type from, you get it? Like the phone is beneath me. And so you're always seeing like the double chin angle of, yeah. I actually love that one. Airbnb for haunted houses, scare b and Binning Manor, verified haunted. Got the little scared emoji, 4.94, it's pretty good. I'd probably check that out. Also that discount's insane. What is that, like a 40% discount? Seven people died here, two beds, two ghosts. I like that. All right, so we have rude face ID. We're having trouble recognizing you. Did you put on weight recently? Wow, this is like the health app with the steps, but for facial recognition. Between those two things, I mean, you're really gonna have a field day with your next meal. Interesting. Uber dog, and it's a dog that's seven minutes away. Okay, first of all, it's pretty cheap. Second of all, 
What's the idea here? Is it for blind people for the dog to guide them? Or is it for me to ride on the dog, like a Pyrenees mountain dog, a dog that can support somebody of my size, 6'4", 250 pounds of pure muscle? I don't know, maybe. Hopefully they don't send me like a chihuahua or something because that wouldn't be good. Uber Eats regret reminder. So they ordered the Husky for $17. You sure you wanna order that? You noted that your tummy hurt last time you ate here. You see, the issue for me wouldn't be that I was sick. It's gonna be like, I regret that I eat it because now I feel like really fat and undisciplined and disgusting. So if they could do something with that, then I might wanna add this because maybe it will then force me into some better eating habits iMessage, see if someone hasn't saved your number. Down to go to the beach though, this is Kaylee again. Maybe we go to Newport. Yeah, sounds great. Great, can't believe we've been almost dating a month. Yikes, Kaylee hasn't saved your number. Ah, uh, that would quickly destroy certain relationships. I mean, namely for people who like aren't in the business of good relationships anyways. Like really, this is a good thing for the sender because you don't want to be dating somebody who doesn't care to even save your number. Let's be real here. So iMessage would be doing people a ton of service with this. Google Meet punctuality score. So it's zero through 92, and it tells you what to expect in terms of their arrival. So usually on time, runs two to three minutes late, probably won't attend. Heather, I salute you. Better help therapist Uber driver option. So Uber better help for 273, so an extra 150 bucks, drivers who are licensed therapists. It could be a steal. Imagine you have like a five hour drive and you're essentially then getting their services at a really big discount, assuming they're talking to you the whole time. So you might as well do this. I mean, that's gonna be the new meta, I think. It's gonna be therapists who drive cars and they're like in this gig economy where they could do multiple things at once. I think that's the future. So you're onto something here. I don't think I've ever had a full-on conversation with an Uber driver that has gotten deeper than, oh, like, where are you from? It always ends there. And I always refuse to ask how long have you been driving for Uber because I know that's the worst question they receive. All right, and then finally, we have stopped people in front of you from reclining on planes with seat recliner lock. So for $15, stops the person in front of you from reclining, enjoy a relaxing flight with more legroom, we'll notify them when they board the flight. Imagine you get into one of the seat recliner lock seats and you're like, why is this even an option? All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, click here, or click here. Shout out to this person for subscribing and I'll see you next time. Peace.